Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, make sure that you hit the old subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So last time we were together, well, first of all, this time uh, I have been out at night. I know it's hard to believe RB was out at night. I was out at night and I was doing some hunting. I was trying to get some ender pearls. We did get a couple. Also found a gigantic, oh my gosh, a gigantic zombie. Uh, and he dropped a heart. Uh, I don't know what we can use that for. What do we use the zombie heart for? Zombie heart is used for a crucible, uh, also a magic workbench, and we can do, wow, we can do, we can do interesting things with that. Anyway, um, but yeah, I wanted to get some, uh, I wanted to get some ender pearls because there's something that I would like to work on using those, uh, and also, uh, also I was out just seeing if I could withstand withstand the night uh, because uh, we've updated the pack. We are now on 0 0.3.5 and uh, things are working uh, things are working swimmingly. Um, so let's go inside here for a second. Let's go downstairs to the uh, de depths of despair and dismemberment. I want to show you a couple of things. Uh, a couple of things that we worked on in a live stream. Number one, down here we have our heat generator uh, actually producing power via the heat source thing right uh so that used to be sitting right here now it's down there and it's producing it's producing power plus we got the uh the old uh couple of wind generators up there and that's working out swimmingly uh we also did some stuff with our refined storage system so we actually have an extra crafter online and stuff like that so we're getting closer to being able to do some some better auto craft oh i killed a i killed a phantom apparently yeah that's cool um so yeah, we're we're getting closer to doing some very cool things. Okay, sorry about that. I had to plug my headphones in because I forgot to plug my headphones in. Uh, and so the speakers were making noise and eventually that was going to get picked up by the microphone and that would have been a tragedy that none of you wanted to see. But anyway, uh, so we've, uh, we've done some work here in the storage room. It's just about how I want it now. Uh, these beams are very cool. Thank you, Estrissi, or Silver, or however you uh, want, uh, however people know his name. Uh, he's a longtime follower of the channel, and he suggested you take the you take a log and you put them into a uh, a vanilla uh, grinder, not grinder, uh, grinding wheel, stone thingy. Ah, it's one of these. Uh, 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 villager bits. Yeah, that's it. Uh, one of one of one of these. Uh, here, stone cutter. That's it. That's called a stone cutter. So you put them in a stone cutter, you put the logs in there, and you get these dark oak beams. These beams are pretty, pretty baller, right? They're awesome. Um, they're they're super nice, right? Uh, and and so you can do it with any any log that you want. I tried oak in here first. I didn't necessarily like the way that the oak looked because there was not much of a contrast between the the oak slabs, which I do like that look. And then the darker oak uh, seems to work nicely for for what we're doing in here. Look at look at listen to listen to RB talking about things that look good. That never happens, does it? No, it does not. Uh, anyway. So, so we've done some decorating in here, and uh, and we also worked on several of the quests in the quest book. So if we go in here, you can see that uh, that we've actually made some progress. We're twenty one percent along there, three percent along there, uh, seventy percent along there. Ooh, we have a reward to pick up here. Cool. So heat generator, yes please, yes please. What do we get? What, what all do we get? Do we get good stuff? No. Uh, what else did we get? Uh, yeah. Boop and boop. Cool. What do we got now? Anything good? I mean, yeah, steel casing. That's nice. That's those aren't super easy to make. And uh, advanced chemical tank. That's cool. Some blocks of coal. Sure, why not? Uh, but anyway, yeah, we did a bunch of questing um, on the camera, and we we made some decent progress in some in some things, right? So we even we even made a little bit of project in blood magic. Um, but one of the rewards that we got was was this thing, the fluid extractor from uh, from industrial foregoing. And I thought to myself, I said, self, wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be nice if we got at least plastic production from industrial foregoing up and running? Because you never know when you're going to need plastic for some things, right? Because plastic, as I may recall, plastic, not plastic, because that's plastic explosive, plastic, um, from industrial foregoing can be used 
in a lot of things, right? It can be used in these conveyors, it can be used in animal baby separators, it can be used in block breakers, uh, basically anything from industrial foregoing that's worth having uh, needs some plastic. As a matter of fact, I think one of the things that industrial foregoing need, yeah, you need it for mob imprisonment tools. And if we wanna be able to move mobs around using the imprisonment tool, then we're kinda gonna need to get, uh, we're kinda gonna need to get plastic going. So. What I thought we would do tonight is we would go in here and we would look at industrial foregoing. So uh, industrial foregoing, we, we got that, right? Uh, and then the it says the next thing that we need to make is a pitiful machine frame or a pity machine frame. So a pity machine frame is just an iron ingot, block of redstone and some, uh, and some planks. That's easy enough. So let's go do that. All right, let's get rid of some stuff. Let's, we can get rid of that and we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Uh, we can get rid of those. We'll need those eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna need them today, but we are gonna need those. I needed ender pearls for something. What did I need ender pearls for? I needed ender pearls. It wasn't for an ender chest. I think it was for, it was for an eye of ender. What did I need an eye of ender for? This. Ah, yes, I wanted to make an ender hopper. That's not super important right now. It'll be probably for mob farm type stuff, but definitely want to get going in that. But anyway, so we wanted to go into uh, industrial foregoing, and what was the thing that we wanted to make? It was a pity machine frame. So pity machine frame, P-I-T-Y, pity machine frame, is uh, is all of that. We should have all of that, yes, because we've got compacting drawers, so the redstone is already compressed. We already have logs, we already have iron ingots. Ta-da, pity machine frame. Oh, we need to put that in our inventory to unlock the quest, right? So that gives us some iron, which is good because iron is in short supply around here. I've uh, I've been using up a lot, a lot of iron. Uh, and then that gives us the access to a fluid extractor, but we already have one, right? We already have a fluid extractor, but it doesn't hurt to have two. So, because if you get two, then you get twice the amount of fluid out of uh, out of what you're trying to uh, out of what you're what you're using here. Now, I'm not sure if this is broken or not. I, I think this is broken because eventually this log is supposed to break. This is full of tree fluid, and it didn't break. It's not showing any signs of being broke or nothing. So, I it might be broken. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go back in here. We'll make another tree fluid extractor. Fluid extractor. That would be this guy. Uh, so we just need that machine frame. I think we have a lightweight pressure plate, light weighted pressure plate and a piston. Do we have a piston? No. Uh, all right, so what do we need to make the uh, the pressure plate? We just need a couple of gold ingots. That's easy peasy, done and done and done and easy. We need a piston. Uh, we got that too. Uh, wait a minute, hello, piston, piston. There we go. That was kind of glitchy. Did you guys see that? Anyway, it's fine. And then tree fluid extractor. Ta-da. So now we got a, an extra tree fluid extractor that gives us some extra acacia log, a cha cha logs. Uh, but if we bring this in here just like so and do that, he should start get. Oh, look at that. We have an animation happening this time. I now since I updated the pack, I got this before I updated. I got this after. So that might have been. That might have. We might have got some freebies out of that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question it. Uh, Anyway, so now that we've got that, we can also make the mob slaughter factory or the latex processing unit. We're gonna probably want one of these at some point, but I think the more important thing to get to right now is the latex processing unit. So latex processing unit is pretty easy. You need a bucket of latex, you need a bucket of water, you need some iron, you need a, a pity machine frame, and you need a furnace. Uh, we can do all of that. So we go like this, we go like this, and we go like that. That gives us the latex. We need some water, uh, a bucket of water, somewhere right here in the middle of the floor. Oh, I don't know, there. Yep, that gives us water. Haha, <laughs> I got a water source in there on some waterlogged slabs, so that's that's how easy that is. Uh, but anyway, we need another one of these uh, one of these pity machine frames. Uh, that would be this, so that's easy enough. We get one of those, we get one of those, we'll put that in there, we'll put that in there, and then uh, the latex processing unit, which is this guy, we should have everything we need. Oh, okay, there's a little bit of a glitch going on there where it, it puts the items in and it doesn't 
process the recipe, but that's okay. We'll, we can we can deal with that. We'll put that away and we'll put that away. Uh, and we'll grab this. And the, the latex processing unit, basically what that does now is we'll need to get, I, I'm pretty sure this needs power, right? I'm almost positive that this needs power. Um, so what we can do is let's just bring it, well, I'll tell you what, let's just bring it right there. Ta-da! So latex processing unit needs fluids, and it needs latex, and it needs water, right? So if we go in here and we get a bucket of latex and a bucket of water, right? Give me one of, hello, hello. Oh, you know full right now. You need, you need to gather more. That's a bummer. That's a bummer indeed. Anyway, grab a bucket of water, put that over here. Now in here, if we look, you'll see that it has a thousand millibuckets of water. And if we can get to a point where we have a thousand millibuckets of, uh, of latex, which apparently that is going to take a while, ooh, that's no bueno. Uh, that's going to take a while. Um, then we can uh, then we can put the the latex in here, and that should, if I'm not mistaken, that should give us tiny dry rubber. Uh, so tiny, I think that's how it works. So tiny. Uh, tiny dry rubber, yes. Uh, tiny dry rubber, you can use those tiny dry rubber in uh, in a three by three crafting grid and that gets you dry rubber. Then the dry rubber you just put into a furnace of some kind and that gets you plastic. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna wait for this to uh, to do its thing. And, and then once, actually, you know what? Now might be a good time to break these and move them someplace where they can stay, maybe. Like I hate, I hate to waste anything, but at the same time, it can't stay here, right? Let me figure out where I want to put this. I'll probably go ahead and move it. Uh, but we also need to figure out how we're going to get water, how we're going to get water into this thing here so that it has a steady supply of water. Because I don't want to just keep bucketing water into this. That's going to be annoying and uh, and nobody nobody like seriously nobody wants that. But anyway, let me uh, let me move some stuff around. I'll let me look at ways that we can get water into this and uh, and I'll come right back to you. Okay, I think I've got a plan uh, and it involves this area right over here. So basically what I want to do is I want to place logs in between the two fluid extractors. Then I need to get some kind of fluid conduit or whatever to bring the the latex from here up to here right and then and then from here this will that'll turn it into tiny dry rubber the tiny dry rubber ooh then the tiny dry rubber needs to get crafted into dry rubber so is there a crafter uh it, well there's those craft oh you know what I could use I could use one of these I could use a tier 1 crafter um from RF tools. I think we shall do I think we shall do that. So we need to make a block placer and we need to uh, also make a tier one crafter. So crafter, that's gonna be nope, this is not JEI synchronized. Oh it is JEI synchronized. Okay. And JEI synchronized. Yep. Craft. Er. There we go. So make one of these. So in order to make one of those, we need a couple of those. A one, a two buckle my shoe and we need one of these which is pretty easy to make uh except we got a little desync happening in there that's fine uh nope nope nobody nope uh that yes there we go so that gives us that and then we just need a couple of crafting tables so mm, a couple of crafting tables there we go one two of those and that should be uh, that should be that. Cool. So that gives us the crafter. And then we're going to need a placer, a block placer. We're going to use the one from Industrial Foregoing. Uh, oh, that reminds me. I got rubber as a uh, as a reward. So we're going to smelt that. Oh, yeah, those are loud again. Uh, updated the pack. Got to turn all the mufflers back on. Don't have time to deal with that right now. But anyway, uh, so we did get some tiny dry rubber. Or we did get some dry rubber. We're going to turn that into plastic sheets. I need four of them. I think it's four for the placer. So block place pl placer block placer. Uh, that would be this guy. Uh, so yeah, we need four, and we also need several droppers. So let's go ahead and make the droppers while we're waiting. Droppers we need three of those. Fine, so I thought I, that'd be three of them. Cool. 
Does that give us four? Almost. There's four. Nice. So we'll take those, we'll put those in there, and then we should be able to make the placer. Uh, not the fluid placer, but this one. And that should be everything. Sweet. So right down hither, between hither and yon, right down there. Nope. Uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can handle this. We can break that, and then we can, and then we can break that, and then we can, uh, and we can do uh, something like uh, something like this. Yep. Oh, what? You're not gonna do that for me? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Do you not place up? It's fine. It's fine. I know what we're gonna do. We'll just break that, and we'll just put it. We'll just put it. Oh, it's backwards. Of course, it's backwards. So we'll place it this way. Ta-da! Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you? What is absolutely wrong with you? <laughs> I'm struggling. Eh. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> I thought it placed. I thought it placed facing down, and that was really really gonna really gonna irritate me uh, anyway all right so we can put a block back there and then if we put uh if we put logs and we'll figure out a way to get logs over to that uh fairly easily we have a lot of these so if i place a if i put a stack of logs in that placer i don't think it needs redstone to work or i don't think it needs power to work apparently it does Apparently it's power, uh, but anyway, we get power to that, and then we can also, we can also, we can also, if I go like this, and I put this, uh, put this back here like this, like so, then we should be able to uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, we should be able to get, gotta clear out some more room here, uh, we should be able to get power, Need to get power to those and that. Uh, but the problem that we have here now, we need to put power up above, I think. Nope. Hello? That's the wrong book. Yeah, we'll put power up above. Yeah, we'll put power up above. So we'll go like this. Uh, that's the transport pipe anyway. I want these. So power up there, and then power back there. And we'll take the power down underneath and get it over to here so that we can pick up all of that. Uh, and then back behind here, we're going to need a logistical transport pipe, I'm pretty sure. So th uh, there. We do not want this to connect here. Yep, I don't want that to connect there. I don't know why that's in there like that. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Don't do that. <laughs> um, and then from here we can go this way. Well, uh, from here we need a we need the crafter. So we put the crafter right there so we can see it. Yeah. We come back in here like this, and then we tell. Eh. That's better. We can get in here now. Uh, we tell this that we want you to extract. You're going to insert. And then from here, we want this to extract. And insert. And then in here, we're going to tell it that the uh, that the tiny dry rubber, uh, if in a nine, in a three by three, makes dry rubber. And then so it'll it'll export the tiny dry rubber from here, input it into that craft it into the dry rubber and then the dry rubber will go into well wow, that's a neat sound effect uh it'll go into the furnace here and then it'll get cooked so i think i think this might need power too does it does it i think it does it does need power so we'll get some power to that as well um like so now we can't get out so we'll go like that i think I think that's the crafting process, right? So as long as we can get power to this, then that should start placing blocks. This should start 
breaking the blocks down into the latex. The latex, we need, a, we need pipes to go from here now up into there. So is there a fluid pipe from mechanism? So at mech, at mech fluid. Uh, logistical fluid pipes or something like that, maybe? Or do the regular transport pipes work for that? Uh, at mechanism transport. Shift for details. Items and blocks. Okay, so it does not... Mm. Diversion. All right, so what can I use to transport fluids. Let me take a look at this for a minute. I'll come back to you guys in just a momo. Okay, figured, some, figured something out. We, what we're looking for, what I'm looking for, is uh, is gonna be pipes from mechanism. So the, the basic mechanical pipe is what will move fluids. So that's cool. We'll make some of those. Right now I am cooking up some, uh, some steel. So we gotta get enriched iron first, then from there we can turn that into uh, steel grid or whatever it is. And then we put that into, into here and that'll make steel ingots. But we also forgot that we need something to move water. Um, water is gonna be another important thing that we're gonna need. So, so let's gather that. Um, oh man, that's gonna be, this is, oh, this is gonna be tough. I gotta figure out the best way, I gotta figure out the best way to do this because we need to be able to get uh, the, the latex into the, into the latex processor as well as water. Um, anyway, let's, let's make an aqueous accumulator. The aqueous accumulator is a, is a, it's a bot, it's a block that's been around forever in, uh, in thermal expansion. So we need to make one of these. That's easy enough. We'll make that. And then we need to make uh, one of these. I think we have everything for that. Don't we? Yeah, we do. That's sweet. That's sweet. Uh, so you're done and I can put you back in there again and that will make, uh, that'll make the steel. So now we just take this aqueous accumulator and we just plop it right down here. I put some water in here already. Oh, look at that. See, that's sweet. That's awesome. Uh, automations, don't care. Um, yeah, I don't care about automations. So gotta get water into that. Yeah, this is, um, this is gonna be interesting to pull off. How am I gonna pull this off? This this absolutely has to have power to do its job. It absolutely has to have power. So how can I make it? We're gonna run out of sides, right? Like it doesn't have to, you know what? It doesn't have to sit there. It doesn't have to sit there. I could move it, I could move it back, right? Then we're gonna run into problems with that. Ugh, this is, oh, that's got, these have got some neat sound effects now. That's so cool. Anyway, I got distracted. Um, let me eat some bread. And so we're gonna get fluid up from here and we're gonna get fluid up from here. I mean, basically we just have to bring water in the front, yeah? I think that's what we're gonna have to do is bring water in the front. Uh, anyway, so you are now steel. You can be put in here. Uh, there's our rest of our plastic. That's still loud. We gotta, uh, is, do we still have this available? Yes, we do. So muffler, uh, we want to muffle recent. Uh, Batania, no. Block. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, I don't, I'll have to find it. Yeah, I'll have to find it, it's fine. Uh, but anyway, so we got two of those, so we should be able to make uh, some fluid pipes now. We don't need many. Uh, so pipe, some of these, mobs are dying outside, so that's cool. Uh, so there's those, and now if we come over here, and we do this, like a so, we can tell you to extract from there, right? And we can tell you to extract from there. Uh, I don't think it's going, I don't think it's connecting to that one back there. I don't think it is. Cool. Let's 
let's uh, let's make sure it's not connecting back there because that would be undesirable. Uh huh. It is not good. Okay, so there's that, and then we just need to bring one down across through here, like so. So there's that. That should be water. That should be the aqueous accumulator. Man, I'm good. Whew. I don't know if I'm really good or not. So basic mechanical pipe. You are going to be set for extract, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there, yo. I'm, I'm out. I need to make more. <laughs> that's fine it's absolutely fine so put those in there make some more pipes i just need one more set essentially pipe go do it there nice and ta-da so you are getting water nice if i put a log I place a log right here you should start getting tree fluid right latex cool all right so that's working that's working let me get power to the rest of this because I'm gonna have to get power from over there so let me get power to the rest of this I'll come back to you and we should have something that actually is working and producing uh, pieces of plastic for us. Okay, power applied. All I did was uh, took it straight down, brought it over, and then tied it in right here. Uh, so, so that goes all the way back over there. Um, and then over here, you can see that inside of our RF Tools Crafter, we actually are starting to get tiny rubber. So what we need to do now is we need to tell this, uh, tell this crafter what to do with tiny dry rubber, right? So grab one of these, and if we just do this. Uh, does that work? That is how that works, right? Uh, tiny, tiny, tiny dry rubber uses. Yeah, tiny dry rubber should uh, go into a crafter and make uh, and make rubber. So, oh, I gotta click. I gotta click that. Darn it! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And uh, and we don't care if it uses everything in here because um, because it's because that's what it's here for, right? Um, so we you know there's a lot of things that we could do here. We could tell it we only want it to use certain numbers, or we want it to uh, keep some of the items in the inventory or whatever. But I don't care about any of that. I just want to tell it make me dry rubber, right? So now, as soon as it gets nine pieces of tiny dry rubber, it should output them through this logistical pipe right here into the redstone furnace. Uh, redstone furnace should be set up for bringing items in through the back. We don't want it to take items out through the bottom though, I don't think. Do I want it to take items out through the bottom? Um, maybe, maybe I do, maybe I don't. The only item we're gonna get out of this is gonna be it's going to be dry rubber, or it's going to be plastic. So maybe we build a storage drawer. Yeah, maybe we build a storage drawer. Do I have a chest? I do not have a chest, but we can make a chest. We can make a spruce, nope, not a spruce trapped chest. I don't want a trapped chest. I just want a spruce chest. So give me uh, one of those, please. Thank you very kindly. And then uh, and then give me a, uh, a spruce drawer. Spruce uh, drawer. Just a one by one, right? Give me that. Oh, I said, give me that. Thank you, thank you kindly. Thank you for your support. And then we put that right down there like that. Uh, still tell it to output to the bottom. And that should be fine. Auto input disabled, auto eject, auto output enabled. So that's cool. How are we doing here? We're up to three pieces of tiny dry rubber. This could take a little while. So let me go ahead and, uh, and AFK here for a little bit. We'll come back as soon as, uh, as this has enough 
tiny dry rubber to to do what it's going to do and uh, and we'll and we should be able to see that uh that it that it works and then it outputs to here and everything is hunky dory and and we did a thing so i'll be right back okay so Every 100 to 102 millibuckets or so, uh, this makes uh, another piece of, uh, of tiny dry rubber. Right now, we're sitting at eight. Uh, as soon as we get the ninth one, which should pop over here any second now, it will craft a piece of dry rubber, right? Hello, dry rubber. Hello, dry rubber. And there it goes. Uh, and I think it, I think it went. Yeah, it's cooking over here. Cool. So now we have a piece of plastic in here. This is set up to export to the bottom, but I locked the drawer so that it wouldn't do it without me knowing. Uh, these are the four pieces that we had from the other dry, uh, the other dry rubber that we got from the quest reward. So if we put these four in plus that one, that should give us five. Hey, hey we have five pieces of we have five pieces of plastic, y'all. We're living in the big time. We got five pieces of plastic. How about that? Uh, so I'm going to let this run for a while, and it should do all of the cool things. Um, what we'll need to do next, I think, is get it tied into the refined storage system. And I think the best way to do that, honestly, I think the best way to do that is to just use a uh, is to just use a storage bus, right? An external storage. Um, can I make that? Can I make one of those real quick? External storage. I think I can probably make one of those, maybe, yeah. I need a couple of these, a couple of those, a couple of those. Uh, yeah, we can make one, two of those. And we'll get those, get those a cooking. Yep, oh, that, that's still loud. <laughs> uh, external storage again. Uh, we need to make a improved, so we'll get one of those. Yes, please. Uh, and that is gonna, that is gonna take forever. So we'll cook this one. Cook this one over here. It can't go anywhere. It's gonna, it'll stay right here. So it'll be fine. Oh, that's done. See, it all worked out. It all worked out in the end. They got done at about the same time. So there's that, there's that. Uh, we should be able to now make an external uh, storage because we, well, first we have to make a uh, one of these construction cores. Hello, I need a construction core. That's not annoying at all. And I also need a destruction core. And then I need an uh, external storage. I know, oh, I need a couple of chests. That's fine. We can do that. Uh, no, not that way. Really? Really? Give me some, give me some wood. Uh, spruce will be fine. We have lots of spruce. I like spruce. Spruce is good. There we go. That gives us four of those. So now, external storage. Bada boom, bada bing. Glorious. Mm, really? Refined iron, huh? Or enriched iron. Make one of those for me, please. Yeah, we can do that. Cool. There we go. So now we have an external storage. We also have some cables. Ooh, I don't have enough cables. Are you kidding me? I don't have enough cables. Uh... The struggle is real, y'all. Cable. It says we can craft them. It'll craft 12. 12 actually might be enough. So now we just need to get right here. Right underneath this. We need to go down to 53. And follow... Follow this, essentially. Yeah, if we just follow this, then we're in good shape. So we'll just come right here. We'll go right here. There's not going to be enough of these. I can see it now. But it's fine. It'll all be good in the end. I promise you. have five. Oh, we're going to have enough. That's cool. That's good. Ta-da. So now if we go to our refined storage system, we should see that there are plastic, uh, that we have plastic in there. Yeah. Plastic. There it is. Folks, I am super proud of myself for doing a cool thing. 
but that is all the time that I have for today. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking? What were you thinking, RB? And we'll talk about it in kind. Leave your tip. Uh, don't forget to stop by our Discord server. We're talking about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. And don't forget that we live stream over on Twitch every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. The link will be down in the doobly doo below. And then once you get over there, there are, uh, there are there's a schedule that tells you what times uh, that we live stream. But again, folks, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Love you to pieces. Be kind to one another. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.